How's it going everyone? Lucian Sword here playing some more Brawlhalla for you today as always. I hope you're all having a beautiful day wherever you might be. So today is the start of the week 3 Battle Pass missions. So exciting, finally some more missions to complete. So all of these look really easy or simple at least. Uh, simple to understand, except maybe this one. Win matches as legends with ties to Batavia? Alright, that one's a little bit tricky. So, here's a list of legends that I have found that work for this mission. I'm pretty sure, uh, I might be missing one or two, but if I am missing a legend, go ahead and let us know in the comments below, but only if you verified it. I need Katar's Cannon, Great Sword, so let's go ahead and do some of these missions. Let's go 1v1. Katar's Cannon or Great Sword? Hmm. Well, we have Great Sword and Katar's, so we might be able to knock out two missions in one shot. And I guess I'll just go Mako, Gold, uh, Gold Forge. By the way, speaking of Mako, Mako is getting a brand new skin in the Back to School event coming out next week, and as well as. Taros, let's go ahead and watch the trailer together. Oh my god. There's two new skins, one for Mako and one for Taros. And the Mako skin is so adorable, guys. Oh my gosh. It kind of reminds me of Kindergarten Azuri. And uh, the Taros skin is pretty cool, too, if you like Taros. <laughs> I'm not a huge Taros fan, but it's a cool skin. But yeah, the Back to School event comes out next week. I believe next Tuesday, but I could be wrong. Uh, so I'm excited to to play that. All right, here we go. Going against St. Lauren, playing as Linfei. All right, so I need Greatsword KOs, I think, and maybe like Katar damage. I honestly forgot, but I know I need these two weapons, so I'm pretty sure uh, I need Greatsword KOs and Katar heavy attack. All right, I am not the best Greatsword player. Forgive me. No, I didn't even have a jump. Are you kidding me? How did I not have a jump there? Oh, come on. All right, that's fine. She got me. Oh! As I always say, it doesn't really matter how you start. I mean, it does help if you start strong, but I start bad all the time and then I still win the game. So I don't sweat it if I embarrass myself on the first stock, you know? It's okay. That down sig always does me good. Ooh, Cannon versus Katars. This is a little bit tough for me. Let's see if I can get some Katar heavy. Oh, we got her with that side sig. Let's go. I got a feeling I'm not going to get many of the uh, great sword damage this way. There we go. All right. I might not be a great sword pro, but I can definitely still get the job done. You know what I mean? There we go, baby. Oh, the side sink KO in the face. All right, maybe I'm not that bad with great sword. I don't do fancy combos, but I get the job done. You know what I mean? Oh, that down sig on Kataris. Like I hit it almost every time. Oh, these platforms, man. Sometimes you love them, sometimes I hate them. Actually, this make this uh, Lin Fei doesn't know that my biggest weakness on cannon is the neutral air. She's not really going for it. Okay, now she's going for it, but she's not hitting me with it. We were losing. Do you remember? I, I literally KO'd myself. Oh my goodness. Side sig right to my face. Ooh, dodge those guitar throws. And now it's looking like we're going to win this in a two stock. They may not even kill us again. Which, if you consider my first death a, a self-destruct, then uh, it's almost like I three-stalked her. 
Three stock there and one stock myself. And again, Mako side sig is just too good. GG dude, GG. Oh, look at all that progress. Qatar heavy damage, gravity cancel, or slide charge signature KOs. Wow, I got two that time. And great sword KOs. Wow, all right. Be the first player to pick up an item. All right, dang, we did really good there. I kind of want to do Mako again, but I'm not going to do that. Let's see. I need cannon. All right, let's see. You know what? Lin Fei, cannon and Katars. Perfect. All right. Uh, let's see. I'm going to do Zulong Lin Fei. This one looks pretty cool. And honestly, Gala colors look the best to be on that. Let's for the Katars. Ooh. Actually, let's do the Flame and Cinder. <laughs> I, I probably use those a lot, but they look just awesome to me. And I want to use the big cannon. Where is it? Not that one. This one, yeah, it looks crazy big when you're using it. Look at this cannon. It's a big boy. The bigger the weapon, the harder it feels when you when you hit with it, you know? Anyways, how are you all doing with the battle pass? How are you doing with the missions? I'm pretty much like completing the weak missions in the first couple days every time, but I'm not even playing that much. It's just if you focus on the missions. Especially if you go on free-for-all. I do 1v1 for you guys. But normally if I'm doing missions, I'll just play free-for-all. Because free-for-all gives you the most opportunities for KOs like that. What? How did I not grab with that? Okay, fireball time. Okay, this is why I don't play Lin Fei. I, re I remember now. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. She's actually really good. Okay, I love it when it makes the sound effect, but then it doesn't actually like hit them. I could hit him with that fireball all day. The down sig on her guitars is one of the best moves in the game. Unfortunately, it's on one of the worst characters because of her stats, but the Katara down Sig for sure. Oh my goodness, this string is never ending. I've hit him like 12 times. Oh, too easy. The reeds. Nobody ever expects the double Sig, you know what I mean? That was like a zero to death, by the way. And now he's mad. Gonna hit him with the big boy cannon. I'm so bad with cannon, I just kinda hit random buttons and hope things happen, so yeah. But again, I usually get the job done. Oh! GG. Three stock! Let's go, Lin Fei! Did I just call Lin Fei a bad legend? Oh my goodness, she's not bad. GG dude, GG. We got a little bit of cannon light attack and more Qatar heavy, but we're still not making a ton of progress on that. Let's see. I think I want to go with uh, a different cannon. Man, cannon, Qatar is a great sword. We're kind of we're kind of stuck on that, so I guess we're gonna go Mako again. I don't really prefer to play the same legend over and over in a video, but I'll make an exception here. This time, let's do something crazy. Esports Mako does look pretty wild. And let's do, for Katars, I need Katar heavy damage, right? I I think that's what it was. Well, let's try these. They're kind of weird. And uh, for the sword, of course, I like to change it up. Uh, let's do this one. You, you never see this one. Like, you never see this great sword. What do I need? I, all right. Katar heavy and great sword KOs. All right, and then I need like slide charge KOs or, or gravity cancel. These Katars actually look really good on this Mako skin. I don't know what it is about that, but maybe because like in a swimming pool, you're diving for little rings like that. Is, have any of you guys ever done that? You dive for like hoops or sticks or whatever. All right, here we go. Lost World Petra versus Hammerhead Shark Mako. <laughs> kind of a weird matchup, but should be entertaining. I actually do love the Lost World Petra skin a lot. The uh, the bug inside that orb looks so cool. Okay, how did I not hit with that one? 
this Mako skin is not my favorite, but it does look pretty cool with the uh, esports colors. Speaking of esports colors, I'm gonna be dropping more codes in the comments after this video premieres. Woo! I need that gravity cancel KO! Let it happen, Petra! No! <laughs> oh my goodness! She missed execution! Okay, never mind. She just delayed it. <laughs> okay, wait. Great sword KO. Alright, now we need Qatar heavy damage, so don't mind my Qatar. Six spam here, guys. It's for the mission. We must do it for the mission. Oh, yeah, we got some Qatar Heavy. I hit her with that side zig. What you doing, Petra? What you doing with that bomb? She's trying to get tricky over here. Oh, <laughs> well, that works. All right, refocus. We still have the lead, technically, on damage. We're both tied on stocks. Okay, she pretty much tied it up. Man, the greatsword is so hit or miss on, uh, for me. Like, sometimes I get strings like crazy. Other times I have a hard time getting it going. I don't know if that's just me or greatsword, but... I always did want a greatsword as a weapon, like, added to Brahalla. I never thought they would actually do it. I used to joke I want a greatsword. And then they actually did it, and I don't know. I don't main it, but I do like it a lot. All right, another great sword KO. Now let's focus on the Qatar Heavy. Like, it's kind of hard to do when she's moving around so much, but we'll see what we can do, and hopefully I'm not going to get punished too hard for missing all these SIGs, because <laughs> typically when you're throwing out lots of SIGs, you're going to get punished a lot, and we do have a lead here, so we can kind of afford it. Wow, she did a side zig and then turned around and did a neutral light like so quickly afterwards. Oh man! Normally my Qatar down zig always hits, but she is very good at not walking into it. Alright, final stocks. Now we just have to get that win, baby. Might as well get the great sword KO. Oh man. One, two, three. Oh, I thought I had her with that third. That's okay. We at least scared her. No, you're not gonna hit us with that neutral sig again. Okay, that went right through her. There we go. Tidal wave! Oh my goodness. This is a close game, guys. Great sword, don't fail me now! And... I need a gravity cancel KO, Petra. There it is. You don't have to jump off the stage to get a gravity cancel KO. Sometimes you just do like a little half jump off the ground and do it, and they'll jump into it. GG, do GG. We got all three KOs with Great Sword. We got a little bit of Qatar heavy damage, 51. Oh man, that's gonna be a long one. I might actually have to go into training, or I'm not training, free for all. Like I said, normally I do free for all. Uh, in fact, my last game here, let's just do free-for-all. I want to show you guys how, how much easier it is to get these missions done in free-for-all. But I'm going to use Lin Fei this time. Uh, I guess I'll switch it up. Let's do Zhang Jean, Ji. Jean I have no idea how to say that, but we're doing this Lin Fei. Home team colors because back to school is happening very soon. And I'll do random Qatars. All right, whatever. And random cannon. Okay. We're going to be like a, a, a Chinese pirate Lin Fei, it looks like. That's fine. All right, so normally in free-for-all, you can get as many KOs as you can before the time ends. I should say normally, always, always. So you can get potentially a lot more progress on your missions than in a 1v1, because 1v1, you only get three KOs even if you win. Hey man, don't disrespect the bird. All right, Queen Eye, just for that, you're getting targeted first. Ulgrim, sorry, didn't mean to hit you there. I'm going for Queen Nai. Oh, Queen Nai's good. She got Qatar skills. Oh, I thought I hit her with that down sig. Okay, that works. Got her with the dragon. Oh. Oh, I would have fireballed her so hard. I thought I had that perfectly. I underestimated her. No, Azoth, what are you doing? <laughs> 
I wasn't even paying attention to Abe's up. Yeah, never focus too hard on one person, I guess, in free for all. That's the lesson. And then old Grim go ahead and kill Queen Nye. All right, well, Queen Nye got dead, so now we can focus on everybody. Who am I kidding? We're still focusing on Queen Nye. She has no honor. <laughs> Queen Nye must die. Oh, nice throw. No, 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 not that time, not that time. Stop throwing, stop throwing. Holy moly. All right, it's okay. The match is only halfway done. <laughs> What's happening? I already got more Qatar heavy damage than I did that entire 1v1 game, so. Look at that, so much Qatar heavy. Oh yeah, we're not just hitting one person either, we're hitting multiple people at the same time. I mean, we're getting so much Qatar sick damage here. I got a feeling that everybody else is trying to get Sig damage too because everybody else keeps throwing out SIGs like crazy. That's just free for all though. I mean, everybody's doing it and everybody's getting a ton of progress. Way faster than if you're doing a 1v1. That's what I'm saying. Wait till you see the numbers after this game. Like, I would not be surprised if we're in the hundreds of damage for Guitar Heavy. Like, multiple hundreds. Bye bye. Oh my gosh, Queen Nye just... Oh my goodness. She dying a lot, but not by me. And if you look at the scoreboard, we're in last place. But that doesn't really matter, because all I'm really focused on is my Battle Pass missions. Oh my gosh, Azoth, every time I'm fighting Queen Nye, you just have to come in there and kill me. Azoth, are you partnered with Queen Nye? Oh, good night, Queen Nye. She got destroyed. Finally, I got her. Let's go! Double knockout at the end, but not enough. Alright, that was crazy, but look at this. Boom! Look how much damage I got on the Qatar heavies. Oh my goodness. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please drop a like if you enjoyed. And as always, this is Lucian Sword. I hope to see you in the next video. Take it easy, friends, and good luck on those Battle Pass missions.